It was a beautiful day on the island of Sodor. James the Red Engine Chin, was waiting for all the waiting for a special job. He was waiting on the track. He was listening to all to, to the peep to the instruments. instruments. They were called the brass band on Sodor. Or James liked taking the brass band. He likes likes it so much that he was wanting to whistle loud. He blew his whistle so loud out to join in. He loved it so much. But unfortunately, James couldn't leave yet because he had to wait for Edward to were, were to bring a special load to him. To him. Him. And speaking of Edward, James's driver went to go call for Ed, Edward's driver. For, for. Edward's driver called and said that he was on his way. He told James, James everything. James was hoping Edward could get there on time. He didn't want him to take too long, even though he wanted to go really badly. Let's, let's leave. Edward had spent the night at Timmy's station after taking a coal train from, from the mainland. He was very tired from his hard work. Edward had been whistling long and loud that he hit a branch and knocked his whistle off. Aw oh, man, this means he couldn't work till he get a new one. I, um, I can't believe my whistle knocked off. He said, don't worry, Edward. Work, work. I know, I'll go, go back, we'll go back with the whistle. So, we can't, said, the, said his fireman. Edward's whistle is broken for good, so, he, so there's nothing we can do about it. Edward arrived with his load. Hello, Edward. Isn't it wonderful? No, James, it's not wonderful. Well, said Jane, said Edward, said Edward. What's wrong with Edward? said James. Edward lost his whistle, said, said the fireman as Edward's driver for was, was, on, was on Edward's cab. Half fiddling the controls, trying to get on the other line. What do you mean Edward lost his whistle? said James. Yes. Edward lost his whistle because he hit a branch. Oh, a branch. Edward, can you be... You knock, You got your whistle knocked off by a stupid branch, Edward. Are you that pathetic? James, said Henry. That's no way to treat, treat an engine. Jin, Edward's a nice engine. Jin, you, and he doesn't need you treating him like a big buffoon. Do you know if A, I do? Do you know who could, how much danger Edward can got himself into? That's Edward's problem, not mine, said. Edward seems sadly. Uh, I can't work without a whistle. Edward said sadly, that'll be too dangerous. Chris, Puh, said James. Said James, you're just being pathetic, Edward. We're an engine's not an engine's not an engine without a whistle. And just to prove it, that he gave a loud whistle. But the rest of the engines just ignored him, including Henry and Edward. James was, was speechless. He was cross. He backed up to his trucks. He had to take the trucks as a nation. James wanted to prove his Edward wrong. But he haven't noticed this was going to be a big mistake for the number five red engine. James. James's truck was soon being loaded. And soon James but James but the, but the, even though James wanted to show Edward's boss, it still didn't make him feel better. He was cross. <sighs> I'll show him. I'll show them, he said crossly. Ugh, this is why, why, that's why Edward's so pathetic.
That stupid Edward. I don't like to even think of you about whistles. James blew his whistle long and loud this time. The sheep didn't answer. Bah, said James. I need to whistle long and loud the next time. Then James come past. Past. Napper's eight sheds. Murdoch and he, Murdoch, Diesel, Wilbur, and Albert were there. Then James plays bass and whistle. Whistle back. Whistle boom. Cry. Cry some bulls nearby. Stop that, James, they said. But James didn't answer. He just kept going. James puffed cheekily. That was the best whistle I ever made, he said. James screeched to a halt. He almost passed the Ritz, passed the, the junction. James went on Thomas's branch line. There'll be lots of sheep there, he said. So James continued down the line with his train. He whistled to, to Bertie and Algie. They were speechless. James, said Bertie. That was a nice. Puh, said James. James chuckled. My plan worked, said James. James. Then, James whistled to some passengers nearby. The passengers were so cross. They didn't like the way James whistled rudely at them. Then, James saw Caroline, saw some cars and Caroline with them. Oh, ho, said James. James. They'll get the loudest whistle they have heard yet, said James. But when James, but then something happened. James's whistle broke. Oh, what was that? James said. James came to a halt and out and gas. As he saw his whistle, so flew in the air like a rocket and out of sight. Don't worry, James. We'll open the whistle, said the driver. The driver went to look. Look. They w they searched up, down, left, right, center, everywhere. They came back with bad news. Sorry, James. We'll never find your whistle. So? So? Oh. But we can't go out with one one. It'll be too dangerous. Then an idea flew to one of the passengers just hats. Hats and brain. Leave it to us, said said the said, said, said the brass band leader. We can take we can do it. That's correct, said said to James' the driver. If we use one of their instruments to blow out, James will be able uh, to whistle. So Let's go. Toot, toot, tr said the trump. Came the trumpet. It sounded like a steam engine's whistle to me. James. James was worried. But he knew if he had no time, time to argue. He released steam angrily and puffed away. James chuffed slowly along the track. Right. Poor James saw a red saw a red signal. He came to a halt at the, at the signal. James knew he couldn't whistle, but the, but the, the the cinema saw James. Don't worry, James. I'll get your line cleared. The point soon changed, and James was off. The trumpet toot toot his horn. Toot, said the trumpet. Bit. James soon was off. Off the trumpet. This is disgraceful, said, said James. James soon came. James soon screeched to a halt at, at the station. The driver went to went to went to uncouple both of the trucks.
people in the trucks. The trucks. Oops. Wow. James got no whistle. James got no whistle. The trucks. You said. James didn't say a word as he popped the what out the out 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 of sight. He soon stopped at another red signal. James didn't think it was a good idea. So he saw who his trucks. Look, James was quiet the rest of the way. He didn't feel like a splendid red engine now. He felt very silly. James thought what Edward said, he can't go out with a whistle. It'll be too dangerous. Maybe Edward was right, he said. I sure have listened to him. To him. James stopped at another red signal. When the signal changed, he soon set off. Then, James saw, saw Ellsworth Station. So, Ellsworth Station, the last stop he had to make. James, his driver, fur beams. It worked, said the driver. Indeed, said the fireman. James haven't said any, any complaints lately. He got over it. James was worked quietly along the track. Track. He was cross, but he had to admit it was very useful. It was early. The driver was listening to something on the radio. Yeah, James felt like he felt like like this is not how it should be. Should be. The driver didn't say a word as. Whereas James puffed quietly with his work. The orchestra played and played. James puffed quietly in his work. He soon arrived at the station. Station. James creates to a halt. Felt miserable. He felt very silly. Edward and Henry looked at each other. Henry tried his best not to get upset because of what James said about going out with a whistle. But he could see James was sorry. He felt kind of bad for him. It's okay, James. Don't need to get upset. It's but an engine is not an engine of the whistle. Right. Eight. But still, Bill, you were very youthful. Edward looked. Oh, James, said Edward. You don't have a whistle. Oh, dear. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Edward could see that James wasn't feeling well. He must have felt bad. Ed. Ed. The other engine saw James. Ames. Emily. Emily saw James first. first. Look! Look! Said Emily. It's James the musical engine. Let's whistle along. Molly. Let's whistle along. Just to cheer him up. Said, said Molly. Good idea, Molly. Said Gordon. First, the whistle belonged to Molly. Then the second whistle belonged to Gordon. And the third one belonged to Emily. Henry chuckled. Uckled. He decided to whistle along too. 
But Edward, with his new whistle, so, so, felt bad for, for James. The other engines were chuckled. They whistled along, along the tracks. But Edward, with, with his, still his new whistle, whistle, felt sorry for his friend. And you, you did really well to get your trucks done. Indeed, said the fire controller. Indeed, said the fire controller. James, I'm very proud of you. You, you know you lost your whistle. So, so, you were very useful. So, besides, you did very well. Did you think so, said James, turning up a bit. Indeed, said Word. However, an engine's not an engine with a whistle. Or, or, <laughs> or, a, or a brass band, said, said, as Edward blew his whistle. So, James, James pumped proudly. He soon felt a lot better now. <laughs> The other engines whistled along, except James, who just grinned, knowing he had good friends like Edward to cheer him up. <laughs>